Hello and welcome back to the Freedom Maverick. Today we're talking about uh, uh, we the people, uh, as you can tell from the title description. Um, today uh, I would like to talk to you about uh, what's going on in our current U.S. society currently. So we have, um, you know, as uh, via media, um, which which. Uh, as some of you might know, i not really all that trusting with, doesn't matter what side it's on. But, I, I have some statements I'd like to make about this in terms of, you know, things that I do see in media. Um, and, you know, assu assuming their authenticity, uh, the results thereof. So, here's the thing. We have... Uh, 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 political leaders who are outright in in blatant corruption and cover-ups and and uh, uh, basically doing whatever the fuck they want and you know we, we have Joe Biden making all these executive orders you know more than any other president in history we have you know blatant indoctrination in the school system teaching of you know just silly things um, we have, you know, the bickering back and forth. We have the blatant lies, uh, of politicians and, you know, uh, associated to that, the cover-ups and whatnot. Um, you know, like Cuomo or whatever his name is. Um, but then on the other side of the fence, okay, there was a woman in Congress who tried to get Biden impeached. Um, I think she was in Congress or something. I don't know what her name was. Anyway... And then she promptly got uh, removed. Um, and as far as I can tell, there's nobody been to step up to the plate since then to try to get him removed. So, now, as you well know me, uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, I don't trust the government, period. It don't matter left, right, or the other. Um, and, you know, my whole thing with that is, you know, the government's the government. They're going to try to do whatever they want, and everything's manipulation, deceit, and blatant lies. It doesn't matter if it's a Republican or a Democrat. So, but you know, just to 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 inform y'all uh, of, of my own uh, uh, thoughts on the matter. Um, the, again, there there was the there's nobody else stepping up to the plate to to try to impeach Biden. So, you know, and he's doing all these whatever bullshit crazy things, whatever is what it is. Um, so here, here's my statement about it. Since that one woman got removed for, from office, it doesn't seem like any other Republican has stepped up to the plate. What do I gather from that? Uh, Republican Congress people, Republican politicians of all kinds, are cowards. Uh, they're too afraid that the security of their job uh, will be threatened uh, to to actually try to help people. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds awful cowardly to me. Um, that being said, uh, going back to the title of this video, We the People. Now, we the people are placed in a predicament. You know, where our society is quickly, shatteringly fast, coming to crazy proportions of, you know, government tyranny. So, my statement with that is, you know, uh, the, De the Republicans aren't doing anything. The Democrats are being completely corrupt. Um, the responsibility then thereof falls upon the people. You know, and we go back to, you know, our our foundational documents for this country and the government itself. If there comes a point in time for which the government becomes tyrannical, we have the legal authority to to overthrow them. That is part of why the Constitution exists. That's that's a big part of the Second Amendment. You know, that that was the entire intent behind it. It's not for hunting. That, that amendment was made because Great Britain was trying to overthrow uh, or trying to undermine the, the U.S. and trying to take control of everything. 
or not the U.S. at the time, 13 colonies, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it was trying to just overarch its control and er everywhere else, and it did not want, you know, the whole the there to be a revolution. It didn't want there to be a, you know, uh, some other country guiding it. Um, and you know, people, individuals, not a military. Uh, defended the land, defended the people, defended, you know, they defended themselves, which, which was the, the main important concept in that. Themselves. They defended themselves. Um, which is to say that, you know, that that's the reason the Second Amendment came up. That's the reason it was created. Not because of hunting, which is, which, there, there's there been people out there say it's for hunting, which is fucking ridiculous. Um, that being said, uh, we have we are the only ones, us as individuals, citizens, whatever you want to call it. Um, we are the only ones who have the 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 ability, the legal right, uh, to to uh, stop this bullshit from happening. Now, there there there's many pieces of that. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm one to say that you know, the 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 police force is, you know, the first line of defense between uh, individuals and the government in terms of they're going to defend who they're paid to defend, and just like the military is. So here's the thing: if the government's paying cops, um, as it's you know federal or state, or what, what have you, um, then the question becomes, who are they defending? Well, I think the answer is obvious. They defend the government. They don't f defend people like you and me. They defend the people who are paying them. Otherwise, they don't get a paycheck. And, you know, since our society's bent on capitalism, which I'm not degrading capitalism versus socialism, so don't get that idea. I think both are stupid. Um, but that being said, um, you know, they're not going to defend you. I mean, there's too many blatant bullshit laws that they go and uphold when they, they swear an oath to the Constitution. They just don't even pay any attention to that. So, they're not here for you or I. They're here to collect a paycheck. Now, that being said... You know, we, we see the military up there defending the, the, the um, capital or whatever that, that thing is. I, th I think it's capital. Um, you know, where, where they're hiding behind some sort of razor wire fence and the military's out there, the, the, the uh, National Guard or whatever, are out there defending them, blah, 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 blah. So, they're, they're doing what they're paid to do. That being said... They're not going to be here for you or I. You know, that that that's a blatant fact at this point in time. I mean, that's the hard truth. You know, you think people are going to rise up. No, people are going to collect a paycheck. But if you want to to have security in yourself, security in your possessions, security in your home and your land, that is on you. That is 110% on you. That is not on anybody else. Um, and, you know, at some point in time, like I've said a thousand times, the government's going to come and be tyrannical, and it's going to be all up in your face. That's kind of a uh, cheesy way to put it, but it's just the truth of the matter. And, I mean, they're going to come in with guns blazing. They're going to pound your door down, hammer it down, whatever. Use a chainsaw on it. I don't know. And they're going to kill you for for whatever reason at that point in time. Maybe they want your land and they just and maybe you're defending your home. Uh, maybe they want to take your children away. Maybe they I don't know what, whatever the case may be. Maybe you didn't pay for your license plate or some shit. Maybe you didn't pay for your personal property tax. There's some stupid shit like that that, w that allows them to, to steal from you legally, and you didn't do it. Now, that being said, 
Um, you know, again, you are the only person that's going to be able to do that. So here's my suggestion. I believe a great defense is the best offense. Now, we, we can look at past cases, and I know some people are going to click off because I make this statement. But here's the thing. You remember the Davidians down there in Waco, Texas? What stopped, was it, I think it's ICE? I think it's ICE. What stopped ICE from coming in and just killing everybody on the spot? Because, I mean, they came in, they started shooting people, and the Davidians defended themselves. You know? And they've tried to twist the story every which way, but, I mean, if you look at it, I mean, that seems blatantly obvious to me. Um, the Davidians, you know, they, they were kind of crazy, don't get me wrong. But, you know, they were minding their own business. And the government came in and said, we don't want y'all minding your own business. We don't want y'all being able to defend yourselves. We don't want y'all... Because they, they had bought, like, a crap ton of weapons and ammo and things like that. And uh, shortly after that's when ICE came in. Started shooting up the place. You know, cops are taught to shoot first, ask questions later. I think it's blatantly obvious who started that fight. Now, that being said, that's going to be what it's like. But the reason that ICE was not able to, to take over that place, it took them, what, I think four or six months, something like that, to, to, to uh, finally set the place on fire. You know, what was the reason behind that? Why couldn't they go in right off the bat? Because those people were able to defend themselves, and they were able to do it in numbers. There was, there was lots of people in there, and they were willing to defend themselves and their home and their people. And that's the thing about it. If, if you are not willing to defend your home and your people, and most importantly, you need numbers in order to defend yourself. You know, what I suggest is becoming part of a, 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 a community of people who, who are like-minded in the sense that they are willing to defend what's theirs. One of the big reasons why I uh, really push Echo Villages, which that's not really the concept behind them, but, you know, a lot of Echo Villages, the, the key concept behind them is, is self, uh, self-reliance, self you know. A lot of them have their own gardens, greenhouses, they, make their, they produce their own water, and, you know, they have everything done in-house. So... The thing with that is, you know, you become a part of a community like that. They can't shut your power off. You know, they can't stop you from doing what you want. If you're a mass numbers and able to defend yourself, you know, maybe it's time we start combining these concepts. You know, post-apocalyptic living with pre-apocalyptic design coordination. You know, you need to be able to defend yourself and you can't do it by yourself. I'm just putting this idea out there because we the people need to stand on our own two feet and defend ourselves. We need to be able to do it in numbers. We, we should not isolate ourselves and think that's going to be enough. One person versus, you know, even 15 other people, which is like a small number compared to how many it could be, you know, you're going to die when the government decides it's going to come in. So that being said, going back to my previous statement, maybe we should start combining these concepts. People should be more community-minded in the sense that, you know, we need to be able to protect our neighbor and ourselves. Maybe we should start standing up to police more. Because, no, don't get me wrong. Now, whether you're for BLM, whether you're for any other organization, defund the police... I don't care if you're for or against any of that. The fact of the matter is those cops are going to be the first line of defense, and they are going to defend who, who pays them. They're going to attack who they're paid to attack. Again, I mean, and then there's, the, there's proof in the atrocious laws that are made. People can get arrested for not paying their personal property tax or their income tax, which, you know, is more or less legalized theft. And cops will come in and take your home, 
throw your ass in jail or kill you for for some, some shit like that. That's the fact of the matter. I don't care if you're for or against cops. That's the facts. So, point being, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this to death because thing is, is we the people need to stand together. You cannot do everything on your own. It's just, you just can't. You know, I mean, look what happened to I, I. I can't remember if their heart, their last name was the Hearts or the Loves, or something like that. Uh, it was a case out there in uh, North Dakota or something. I can't remember. Anyway, the FBI came in and started shooting those people for wanting to to be, you know, live off the land. Um, you know, and that's that was the only thing they were guilty of. You know, um, and that's the government didn't want that because they didn't have control. And they were just a, a few individuals. You know, it was a I want to say it was a man and a woman. There were three kids there, and one was like a toddler or something. You know, and, uh, you know, they weren't able to defend themselves. You know, there was just a couple of people there. They were able to use a gun. They were able to protect themselves. And, you know, you can't defend yourself by yourself. You can't defend your home by yourself. You can't defend your family by yourself. You need numbers. Community. We the people. <sighs> anyway, I know I'm just about beating this to death. But it's a very important case and it's becoming more and more important as days go on in our society. Our society is falling apart. And it's falling apart at the seams. And... It's very quickly crashing down in front of us. And if you don't want your home taken, if you don't want to get killed, you need to find you a community. You need to find you a people that is willing to stand behind what you're willing to stand behind. Be able to defend yourself and them, and they defend you. That's a community. Stand up for each other. You want to talk about empathy. You want to talk about, you know, all this, this, this other stuff, you know. You want to talk about, we stand together. That's how you do it. Anyway, I think I've beat this into the ground. You know what I'm saying. So, I'm going to get off. Y'all have a blessed day.